Now the next interactive report that we're going to look at is a protractor HTML reporter 2 plugin. So this uh, again uh, all the steps you're going to find in this document uh, itself where you need to install uh, this uh, dependency. Uh, I'll directly go to uh, the npm site first and here are all the steps uh, written that you need to do right you can follow this or you can uh, add the state forward steps from my document that i am going to provide it to you so just copy this dependency and uh, paste it over here install this right so it's added uh, the next thing that you need to do uh, there are a couple of things we need to include first we have installed this the another thing that we need to install is uh, jasmine reporter so this is a dependent library so i'll say npm i jasmine reporters right so once these two are installed we need to include this and uh, the header statements right and in on prepare method we need to add this add this reporter so we'll go to on prepare function and um, this is the third report that we are generating so this is protractor html reporter Two. Right. So it will actually going to generate the XML results. And once the results are generated, in on complete method, we need to copy this code where we will be defining what platform is, what browser name is, right, what the browser version is, where the screenshots to be captured, what is the output file name that will be generated, right? There are a couple of things which. Uh, we need to define inside the on complete method. Okay, so it's going from error. Let me check. Okay, so we need to put a comma over here. All right, so these are the information uh, that you can actually get it uh, from the node package manager of uh, this like how to use it and what all things that you need to add then uh, in order to generate uh, screenshots uh, there is something called as uh, jasmine to protector utils this is uh, what you need to install as well so you need to install i'll go over here npm sorry npm i jasmine to protector utils so this will help in generating screenshot and the screenshot path will be this so this will be generated uh, if the folder is not there, it will actually going to generate the folder automatically and we're going to store the screenshots over there. So just copy this much, this plugin and uh, paste this plugin anywhere over here, right? And that's it. So we are good to generate uh, our next interactive report. And the process is very simple. Just run your protector test. Okay, we got some failure. Let's see. It's throwing some exception with this plugin. Okay, let's see where we have added this plugin. Mm, 
I'm not sure. We have already installed uh, this plugin with this throwing an error that cannot find this module. Let me try installing it again. Okay, it should be there. And then run the factor. Okay, what could be the issue? Uh, okay, let us go back to that package manager and see if there is any additional thing that needs to be added. Uh, I'll click on this. So this is the package that we were installing. Um, okay, uh, so this could be the reason it is asking to install it globally. Right. So what I'll do, I'll install it globally and then we'll add Alright, let's update it. And now, if I run uh, my test again, and see, it started working. So this package, this is a package that you actually need to install globally. So I've not installed it globally, so that's the reason I was facing issues. And now uh, there is a failure, but the failure should be related to uh, the test that we, that failed okay let's look at uh, the reports if it is generated or not and uh, yeah we we got this protector test reporter right so let's uh, reveal it in explorer and let's see yes we did got the we did receive the report and the environment, uh, Chrome version, um, Windows, and the test to verify it on Google, and uh, the time four seconds uh, taken for the test. And for the failure, you will see the exception as well as uh, the screenshot uh, also captured. Right. So this is uh, uh, the most interesting report that. Uh, I found uh, that you, we can use it with the protector framework. So whenever you are designing a framework, it's nothing that you need to do, just uh, install all these uh, dependencies which are required and include these things in your uh, conf.js file, right? And you should be able to generate all the interactive reports, right? So all, all uh, these reports you can uh, uh, use with uh, any framework that you will be uh, creating with Protector, your page of click model. Uh, there, there are uh, like things available for Cucumber.js as well. Uh, the same HTML reporter is uh, with uh, Cucumber.js modules as well that I have included uh, in my Cucumber.js with Protector uh, uh, course. So in case you want to go through that, uh, just look at uh, the lecture content and uh, you can get started with Cucumber.js as well. Right. So these are the three different uh, reports that we have uh, seen so far. We have seen the detailed configuration and how we can uh, use this report with our Cucumber, uh, sorry, not Cucumber, with our uh, protector uh, test. All right, thank you.